Iraqi-led forces marching toward Mosul are now just eight kilometers from the Iraqi city as the operation to free it from ISIS control pushes on. Kurdish Peshmerga forces are now closing in. After days of fierce fighting, along with a number of territorial gains, a total of 100,000 troops are taking part in the offensive to reclaim Mosul. Officials say that they'll likely face an intense street battle after entering the city that has been held by the terror group for more than two years. Let's head east now to the Iraqi city of Erbil, where we find our Nick Peyton Walsh with the latest. Nick, uh, good to have you with us. Peshmerga is just eight kilometers away from Mosul now. How close are we seeing? Or are we to seeing this battle move inside the city itself? Quite some way off, Cyril. In all truth. The fight for the plains around Mosul, which I think some optimists have hoped may have been a swift event, have proven so far quite tough. And I think it's because uh, what U.S. officials refer to as the crust of ISIS defense, and you know, except even once they've gone through that, the sort of outer defenses, it gets harder still as they move towards the urban sprawl. This is, of course, a vital city. It used to be 2 million people. Now it's about 1.2, kind of the jewel, frankly, in the caliphate that ISIS declared themselves in Iraq. Now, today, we've heard the Peshmerga say they cordoned off about 100 square kilometers. Uh, the word cordon is important because what we've seen so far is the complexity uh, of the Peshmerga are actually clearing and controlling populated areas, areas with buildings in them, basically, in these huge plains of desert that are basically the area they're fighting over right now. Uh, ISIS are in tunnels. They're using mines to consolidate their position. And while the Peshmerga and Iraqi army can push through these areas, they often find that behind them they face resistance after they've gone through. So uh, it's extensive push here, uh, one that frankly is remarkable given the resistance we saw a few days ago now, backed up by coalition artillery and airstrikes, allowing them to gain this kind of territory. But still, there is a tough job behind them because the territory they're supposed to have got control of now is important to allow civilians out from any future fighting, to allow the resupply of troops as the fighting continues. Uh, and it isn't really homogeneously under their control at this stage, Cyril.